Welcome, Odoers. In this e-commerce video, we will focus on e-commerce order management. For that, it is important to understand the three main order stages in Odoo. Quotation, quotation sent, and sales order. Each stage represents a different step in the e-commerce process. When an order is in the quotation stage, it means that the product was added to the cart, but the customer has not gone through the checkout process. In Odoo, we can identify these orders and follow up on them to encourage customers to finalize their purchase. The quotation sent stage means the customer has gone through the checkout process, but the payment has not been confirmed. This can happen, for example, if they choose to pay via wire transfer or when they collect their order in person at the store. Finally, an order reaches the sales order stage when the payment has been confirmed. Based on this, we can implement strategies to optimize our sales, improve overall customer experience, and streamline our order management process. And the icing on the cake? It's Odoo, so everything can be automated, of course. Let's get into it. So, of course, the first thing we will do here is go to our website configuration in the settings. And what I want to show you is in the checkout process section, I have here a category with the assignment. Um, by default, I have a sales team assigned, uh, which means that they will be notified when an order is uh, done on the website. But I can also decide whether I only want one salesperson to be notified. Then if I go um, a little bit below, in the email and marketing section, I have the possibility to send an email automatically to people who have abandoned their, um, their order. Um, and this, of course, is only available for signed-in customers because otherwise you don't have their email address. And then you can also configure the email template that goes with it. Um, the third thing I wanted to mention is the automatic invoice that you can actually create. So this will generate an invoice automatically when the payment is confirmed. And then you can also um, configure the email template that goes with it. And that will be sent when the invoice is created. And one last thing is the confirmation email that you can send. But for that, you will need the inventory application. So this will send an automatic confirmation email when the delivery order is done. And you can also activate an SMS confirmation. For that, you will need to buy some credits. I will only activate the email confirmation for this case, and I will save all these options now. OK, now let's imagine a customer has placed an order. Where can I check it? Well, Audrey, you always have very relevant questions. For that, it's very simple. You go to the e-commerce tab and just go to orders. Here, you will see by default only the confirmed orders that come from the website. Obviously, you have the filter here. And then you can see that there is the invoice status for this one. Since they've been confirmed, they are fully invoiced. You can remove this filter and add other ones. You can, for example, only select the unpaid ones or the abandoned ones. This gives you at least an overview of the situation of your sales order made on the website. Now let's go on a sales order. You see here that I have the status sales order. Audrey, do you remember what that means? It means the customer went through the checkout process and the payment has been confirmed. Very good. So now on our sales order, we can just go to the invoice. Actually, as you rem remember, we activated this option uh, to create the invoice automatically and to send an automatic email to the customer. So you can see that it has been created here and posted, validated. Now let's go back to our sales order. We can click on the delivery and we will see that we can actually process it. So we click on validate, we apply the done quantities. And just like that, it is confirmed. And I also have this email confirmation that was sent because my order was shipped. That is also the option that we activated earlier. And what if the customer wants to return the product? Well, that's very easy, actually. There is a button here. You just click on it, click on return, validate, and then apply the quantities, and then it's returned in your stock. For the refund part, we have very specialized videos made by our accounting experts, so I will ask you to, to check them out. Now, other menus that can be interesting is the abandoned carts menu and the unpaid one. So I will go to the unpaid orders. I see that here I have one that is unpaid. For this, the status is quotation sent. It's, for example, when they chose to pay by wire transfer, as we explained uh, earlier in this video. So let's click on it, confirm it. In this case, I will have to create the invoice manually. And after that, I can confirm it and register the payment once it is received. 
Well, that's it for this video. Don't forget to check our online documentation if you want to learn more. Audrey and I will see you in the next one. Take care.